did either of you play football? There was someone here earlier this morning and they talked about at halftime having to pull the sand burrs out of their jerseys. Yes. When we practiced, we practiced down where the ball field is, down across the highway here where they, where they play ball now. We didn't practice up on our finished football field, so we practiced down there. And at the time, it was full of sand burrs. <laughs> <laughs> you would get tackled, you'd pick up, and then you'd pick the sandbirds out. <laughs> yeah, the football field used to be north of the school where those houses are now. Yeah. 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 And do you remember flooding? I can remember as maybe a third grader that there was major flooding in the spring. The whole back field was underwater, yeah. and there were benches along the baseball diamond that we could float in the <laughs> float in the water and pl and play with it. Yeah, I remember some of those occasions in a wet spring where the water would come up and basically come all the way up to the baseball field, you know. And that was kind of a down in that low area there where that drainage canal is that that was full of water, you know, back down. Yeah. But uh, anyway, on the water. says did you get your front teeth knocked out in baseball? I said, yeah, that was me. <laughs> and so I was gonna yeah. help. I just I was developing my front teeth, and I had the biggest, whitest, big tooth that you'd ever come out of a mouth. And at the time, you got to see the tractors. <laughs> um, we practiced up by the school. They had a backstop there, and, and the benches were not. We, we sat on the inside of the fence, naturally. Well, it was a left handed batter come up, and we were practicing. and. I can't remember, I think it might have even been Bill Chipman. But anyway, he was a left-handed batter, and I can't remember who the pitcher was, it could have been Doug Adams. But anyway, the pitch came and he hit a foul ball, and I was watching the pitch and I turned around and that ball literally was six inches from my mouth and all I could probably do was open my mouth. And I think my mother was more disappointed than me that I came home with. <laughs> With that broken off front tooth. <laughs> but I was sitting behind the fence and I saw it happen. For some reason, I remember that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You, you mentioned, you know, Rand, you mentioned, you know, Randy Nimix. Uh, that must be him. Okay. But I was sitting behind the fence. You were a traumatized little kid for when that happened then. Uh, not really traumatized. But <laughs> well, memorable anyway. Yeah. For sure. Well, and then, then to add, add to the story, it was summertime and the second tooth come in and it was it was nice big tooth too but that was when <clears throat> all these surfing songs were going on and everything else we were making hay and i thought oh i think i can try that on a wagon tongue so i'm on a wagon tongue i'm pretending like i'm surfing you know lo and behold i slipped and fell my head came down and i knocked my other tooth off <laughs> <laughs> so by the time I was probably 15 years old, I had both my front teeth knocked out. <laughs> oh my gosh. And were you affected? Pardon? Were you affected, affected? Yeah. <laughs> so was there a dentist here in town, or no, where did I you go to? to? At the time, I went to Richland Center, and there was a Dr. Reese there yeah. uh, on the corner. He was a dentist, and so I got a... I got a bridge put in there, and to this day, I still, I still wear a bridge. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I haven't had, never did have front teeth. <laughs> Goodness. Ooh. Does any?